You know what gets way too much attention in our world? Height. What really matters is our brains, our personality, and most of all, our hair. Being tall, that's overrated. In fact, now you can create your own mini-me. And there's a good possibility that soon you could be saying, honey, I shrunk the kids, and the dog, and myself. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Look into their faces. People, pets, pastimes preserved forever. These are miniature replicas of people like you and your neighbors. And these diminutive doubles are called dupes. The forward-thinking company that makes them, called Dube, got its start in Germany. And these unique replicas are the combined result of sophisticated technology, photogrammetry, and 3D printing. Photogrammetry is a scanning process whereby two-dimensional photographic images taken from multiple angles are converted into a single three-dimensional model. Dubes come in five sizes, from four inches to 14 inches. I headed to New York City to meet up with Michael Anderson, the CEO of Dube USA. What material are the figurines made of? Uh, they're printed in a resin polymer. So it's sort of, it's like layers of white powder that are built up. A figure might have a thousand layers of powder. And with each layer of white powder, the color's laid down, and that color is actually the bonding material that glues it to the next layer of white powder. Like excavating fossils from the earth, when the powder is removed, it really is an unveiling of a work of art. It's not painted afterward. It's the, the pigment is in each layer. Exactly. When you pull it out of the 3D printer, it's full color. After that, they're dipped in a solution to make the colors pop. They rest on a drying rack. Then these dubes are done. Let's dupe this. All right. <laughs> it was time for me to step into the octagonal duplicator, where cameras capture you from just about every angle. 54 cameras in here? Exactly. Taking pictures from all angles at the exact same moment. Mm -hmm. And then once we capture the 2D images, we're able to run it through our software, and that reconstructs it into a 3D model. So it stitches together 54 different pictures to make it three-dimensional. Exactly. All right, I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. All right, three-dimensional replica of me. <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh my gosh, it's me. That's so weird. That is amazing. Do people usually freak out as much as I'm freaking out? They do. They do? It's completely normal. <laughs> people laugh, people cry, people, you know, people go crazy for them. Wow, I'm really, really flabbergasted by this. I mean, it, it looks so impeccable and so like perfectly detailed. An innovative glimpse into a future where whimsy and art and science all mold together into one mesmerizing result. I feel like I should get in the carpool lane with this. No? Okay.